What's happening, everybody? Welcome and welcome back. If you've been here before, Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games. We are talking NVIDIA, we are talking DLSS, and we are talking Unreal Engine 5.5. As the plugin is finally available, what's it been, guys? About eight months that we've been waiting on this? I don't know. I just know that I did not get my email, NVIDIA. Thanks a lot for telling me to sign up for an email so that I would be notified and you still did not notify me. So, you know, that goes along with everything that's been going on with NVIDIA for this past eight or nine months or whatever it's been. I believe that this has been out for two or three days. The reason why I'm dropping this video is just in case some of my subscribers did not know. And if you are using this technology, I'm going to let you know what you're getting. All right. So if you got a 50 series card, then you get all of the features, the new DLSS multi-frame generation, the DLSS frame generation standard, and the enhanced DLSS ray reconstruction has finally been released into the engine plugin, a DLSS super resolution beta and a deep learning DLAA beta. All right. If you're a 40 series user, you're going to get to use all of the features except for the multi frame gen, which is only dedicated to the 50 series cards. If you're a 30 series user, then you get everything from ray reconstruction down and the same thing for RTX 20 series users. Now, I did already incorporate this into my project. And I'll say that I'm not seeing anything that, that's that much better than it was in the previous version except for the ray reconstruction which is nice but very costly it is very costly all right so i'm gonna have to go in and figure out uh what i'm gonna have to do what i'm gonna have to change to make things run smoother i will actually show you guys uh, my project running with this and let you see how it's performing so let's do that all right so we are in my project here and I added an option to my menu here for DLSS, which will bring up this DLSS menu that I created here. So this will do the job. I'm gonna set this on uh, quality and I'm gonna turn on this ray reconstruction. You're gonna see, notice that the frames dip tremendously, even with frame generation on, it'll still do okay. We're just in a menu right now. So that's the only reason it's even doing as well as it's doing. Um, and then the dynamic vibrance, which is here, you could turn that on as well. I got epic quality and this is all on quality. So I'm going to go into my project. So we're going to go ahead and save and we're going to go back and we're going to go ahead and get into the project. Now I have not shown you guys this particular project yet. So, but anyway, here we are and you can see the frames that we're getting here. And you can see a lot of glitching and hangups, which I've been getting since I started trying to use the ray reconstruction. It's a little glitchy. Most definitely a little glitchy. So now I'm going to change my settings again. You can see we're barely getting 30 frames here. So I'm going to go ahead and try a different setting. I'm um, getting beat up, so it's not letting me go into the menu. All right. And you can see it's very glitchy, which was not before in previous versions. Now let me go in and I'm going to change this option and I'm going to take the re ray reconstruction and we're going to actually leave it off. You're going to see that everything goes up a little bit more. We're going to go ahead and go to performance. And we're going to leave everything else the same and we're going to save and we're going to go back and we're going to resume and you'll see we get close to 54, 55 frames per second, 50 frames, 40s. All right. And I'll be showing you guys this project a little later in its entirety of what I have done so far. This has missions, everything already included, but I just wanted to show the DLSS and as you can see, it works. Like I said, the ray reconstruction really 
causes issues. All right. So was it worth the wait? Yeah, it was worth the wait. Um, I'm not going to be using the Ray Reconstruction at this time. As to me, it's very buggy. And you guys saw it for yourselves that when I turn on Ray Reconstruction, it really got janky buggy. Frames dropped really low. Uh, not really something that's helping out at this time. I will have to go in and check way more of my settings. I will have to check my... Uh, my ray tracing settings and other settings as you can see here i'm missing some materials here that i need to work on as well so we'll get everything fixed up and i will show you guys this again but i just wanted to make it known that the dlss4 was out and that you can use it now especially if you've been waiting like me my project incorporates it and i had to use a bootleg version to get by that actually wasn't working but it was just filling the void so that my project would not crash out so this should have been done already. This is not something we should have waited eight months or however long we've been waiting for this DLSS. If you're a DLSS user, the fact of the matter is, is that DLSS should have been out. I don't know why Nvidia took so long. Well, I do. They took so long because of the 50 series cards and they were catering to them instead of the people that already spent all their hard earned cash on the 40 series cards. You know, it's really hard to say that you don't want to use nvidia technology anymore being that it is quote the best technology thus far but i really have been looking into the amd uh the 9070 series and the 9070 uh xt series cards i will probably grab one just to see how it does comparable to my 4070 because i'm just a little tired of of nvidia thinking that they could just do whatever they want to us and we just supposed to sit back and accept it um, this long to wait for a major technology and a major engine it's just that was just pathetic in my opinion it's just pathetic and um, that's all I got to say about that you guys let me know if you're using this technology in your program in your software in your game if you're using any of the Nvidia technology let me know and let me know how you feel about you know us having to wait so long for releases uh, the last time that we had this technology available, the same thing happened. I believe that we waited about six to eight months to even get a plug in. So that's all I got for this one, man. Hopefully if you are an NVIDIA RTX user, this knowledge will help you. If you need any help adding this to your project, let me know. Um, I will probably do a little small video if people are having issues uh putting dlss into their projects anyway that's all i got for this one man like subscribe hit the notifications and share the content i'll be back with another video more than likely showing this project and its whole completeness amp capo black adonis games mm -hmm.